prominent men meeting in secret who directed the course of civilization are recorded in the writings of all people. The oldest is the Brotherhood of the Snake, also called the Brotherhood of the Dragon, and it still exists under many different names. The Brotherhood of the Snake is devoted to guarding the secrets of the ages and to the recognition of Lucifer as the one and only true God. If you do not believe in God, Lucifer, or Satan, you must understand that there are great masses of people who do, and their beliefs and actions based upon those beliefs will affect me. The important fact to remember is that the leaders of both the right and the left are a small hardcore of men who have been and still are Illuminists or members of the Brotherhood. They may have been or may be members of the Christian or Jewish religion, but that is only to further their own ends. They are, and always have been, Luciferian and internationalist. They give allegiance to no particular nation, although they have used, on occasion, nationalism to further their causes. Their only concern is to gain greater economic and political power. The ultimate objective of the leaders of both groups is identical. They are determined to win for themselves undisputed control of the wealth, natural resources, and manpower of the entire planet. They intend to turn the world into their conception of a Luciferian totalitarian socialist state. In the process, they will eliminate all Christians, Jews, and atheists. You have just learned one, but only one, of the great mystery. But now it had, it had to change. Lucifer says, we have to make sure that people, humans, get to believe that, uh, that Luke, Satan and his angels do not really exist. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to disconnect us from multidimensional infinity so that we don't see the world from that perspective and therefore see through the illusion and see through the nonsense and see through the lies. And then once they've disconnected people, they then program this lower level of our consciousness with a reality that suits them. And therefore, the only um, information that they uh, have to uh, get a fix on, on how they see life themselves and reality in general is through the eyes and the ears. And who controls that? The Illuminati control that. They're trying to disconnect us from multidimensional infinities. And then once they've disconnected people, they then program this lower level of our consciousness with a reality that suits them. If, we, if there's a reality out there pertaining to any alien influence, we need to sort out the government misinformation and disinformation and mind manipulation techniques that they're using. I know for a fact that the plan is to make all of us feel totally helpless. That what's happening is beyond our realm to affect because we've been taken over by aliens. That our independence day is dawning. So beware of that. Understand that those criminals have been keeping information and technology from us under their blanket of national security. They are 25 years ahead of us at least. They're way ahead. So when they say, it's aliens, it's aliens, and they show us some incredible technology, don't, don't fall into the trap of feeling totally helpless that this is beyond our realm to affect. Superstition begins where knowledge leaves off. And they have been keeping knowledge from us for a long time. People have all kinds of belief systems. And I'm sure each and every one of you has various and different belief systems as well. I'm not saying that there's no such thing as aliens. That, that would be foolish of me to even, even say anything like that at all. But what I am saying is that my, it was my experience that these were people claiming to be aliens. There are some people in this world who are 
about to destroy the sovereignty of nations, take away our Bill of Rights. Exactly. The UFO thing is integrally tied into this in some way. I'm not exactly sure how, but if extraterrestrials are real, then they're controlling everything, believe me. If they're not real, they're being used uh, as, a, as, a, as a threat from without to scare people into coming into this one world global unity of humanity in order to face that external threat. In the process, we're going to lose. Uh, the, the ordinary man will lose. You need to understand, disinformation is deliberate deceit to hide other things. And so uh, there's so much of that. And, uh, and some of it is surprisingly well-sponsored disinformation. I'm going to sum up this talk and mention an overview of the alien agenda. The alien agenda is really decimate the planet to take the remaining human subjects as slaves and the aliens would use this planet for their own means. My question I'd like to ask is this. If the aliens have a 1,200 IQ, can speak all these languages and are so powerful, what prevents them from just taking over? That's a good question. We are an alien species to them, and our germs have a tendency to kill them. <clears throat> they're also a dying race, and they're in far worse condition than anybody with the worst case of terminal cancer. They are in need of us to some degree. And, uh, and some of it is surprisingly well-sponsored disinformation. So I think my, my question is actually to my question is to Clifford Stone. You, you said that you had seen aliens on a, on a craft that had crashed. I wondered if you could describe what they looked like. I could. I could, but it would probably take a whole lot of time. The reason I state that, when I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species. Uh, you have individuals that look very much like you and myself that could walk among, among us and you wouldn't even notice the difference.